All right, check this out. Okay, this video pertains to uh, just a little bit of the, um, just a, just a touch and base on some uh, entertainers and, and their fight for us. This goes back into history here. We had a group that was been around for years and they had a lot of really good success coming up through the 70s and they actually kind of had an original lineup with Sid Barrett. But the name of the group is Pink Floyd. Um, and so uh, what this pertains to is there's a movie that you could watch. Um, it, it, it's old. It's old animation, but it's uh, the and it's got some. You know, it's not all animated, but they use animation to, to carry the storyline. But it's the movie by Pink Floyd, The Wall, and it's narrated by the actual album, The Wall, and it plays along with each song that's played through the album. And there's a little bit of uh, of a take from each song written into the movies. And whenever the the song comes into uh, the part where it's uh, the the uh, another brick in the wall. The mainstream, you know, the one we're all used to hearing where it's, you know, teacher, leave them kids alone. When it goes to that part, it shows the children, all of them in a line, single file line, being directed to go into this weird looking box machine. And when they go into this machine, they come back out and they're faceless. They're, uh, they walk in a, in, a, in, a, in a uniform matter, all same wearing clothes, and they don't make any noise. They just um, pretty much uh, are, they've conformed. They've been told what to do, and this is what they're going to do. And the machine, I guess, in, the, in, 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 in retrospect or, or, or metaphorically speaking, would be the iron fist of tyranny in the government. And uh, that would be the byproduct of what happens whenever you take people's freedoms away. They no longer freely think. They don't think for themselves. They don't have any creativity. And then things really start to, dem to diminish. As society diminishes. People's uh, morale diminishes. People's you know, drive to do things great diminishes because of the fact that nothing's rewarded. Nobody gets paid for their hard effort or their wonderful thought process. Everybody just gets the same nothing. If you think for one second that socialism and communism... Um, provide everybody with a Cadillac to get in and ride? Well, let me tell you something. It's a whole different scenario because what happens in socialism when it comes to being able to have your own free ride and free transportation means that you may be able to get on a public bus if the thing's running because most socialist uh, agendas are built upon corrupt situations, which means that as they launder money through all side jobs, all the things that go on, infrastructure and anything that has to do with public use because of the fact they don't care about the citizens starts to fail miserably. And we could say Cuba is a really good example of that. So uh, you need to look at Cuba's infrastructure and how the, everything is failing and going all to pieces because of communism and socialism, everybody getting the free housing. Well, guess what? The houses are barely even a house. They might as well just be in a box. And uh, they take possession of each and everything that's around you so you cannot do any better. Even if you've seen a better piece of property or a nicer house to get, you cannot buy it because you're not issued it by the government. Pink Floyd... 90% of the material <laughs> was speaking against that. And there's other groups, too, that have a really good depiction of what they had to endure. Um, Black Sabbath, Ozzy. Ozzy came from an extremely rough background, an extremely poor, socialist, communist-driven society where you know, it was just it was uh, just a dark, dreary place. You know, um, the only way they could get ahead was their one chance at being successful in music. And he had to forge his own way. And these people fought communism to get where they're at. That was a fight, you know. And um, I'm a little disappointed that some of these people don't speak up more. But I can also understand in cancel culture right now, if you can, you know, sometimes working behind the scenes has a better effect than trying to voice your opinion because you may, you may end up cutting yourself right off at the throat. So... So something to think about whenever everybody wants to say socialism is a good thing because everybody gets free health care and free education and all that. Your education ain't going to be worth a dang. Your education is only going to be what they want you to know so you don't try to think outside of that box and break that their glass. We're out here to break these glass ceilings, I quote uh, Hillary's. Uh, yeah, so anyhow, uh, thank you all very much for listening to my medium-long video, and I've got more to come. You all have a very good afternoon. God is in control.